Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm going to share with you guys my top five favorite modifications that I've done to my Mazda RX-7 FD. Now as you can see behind me is an absolute beautiful day today here in the UK. It's going to hit temperatures of 32 degrees here in the afternoon. Uh, this is why I'm here at currently half past eight in the morning to do this video for you guys. Now for you guys that's new here today I'm just going to go over a few details that may interest you before I go over my top five modifications and um, yeah I will crack straight on. So I bought this car back in 2012. Uh, the idea for me was to add subtle modifications on the outside to give it that sort of OEM plus look. There is other videos on my channel which I have gone over every single detail on this car so far and there is uh, future plans for the engine bay which will probably be in another year or so. I'm just currently enjoying the car as it is and attending shows. As I move around this way, I will go to the interior because I have ripped pretty much all that interior out over time and that's all been completely changed. Full Nardi setup there, as you can see, gloss black interior, all the red trim, which is out of the Bathurst X model, carbon fiber touches, all sorts of little detaily modifications, which is what I like doing. Now, as we move around to the engine, this is a stock ported 13B rotary engine. The plans are to go single turbo and get all that sort of stuff uprated in time. But what I've done so far is just upgraded some of the performance stuff slightly and then paid a lot of attention to the detail, as you can see in the engine bay itself. So a lot of titanium bolts, aluminium pulleys, carbon fiber touches, all sorts of little bits and bobs, which does mount up to a lot of money when you add it up. But overall, I'm very happy with the look of the car. I'm very happy with the look of the engine bay. I love the drive of it. I love the comfort of it. It's just my dream car, and I'm gonna continue building it to exactly how I want it. Okay, so modification favorite number one has to be my alternator in the engine bay. Now, this was a modification that when we had all this engine in bits I really enjoyed for some reason rebuilding this alternator so what I've done is I've sprayed the center here I'm not going to touch it because I've just driven the car so I've sprayed the center in graphite gray the outer housings are re-powder coated in a gloss black this rotary shaped pulley is probably the favorite on the alternator and it's the thing that stands out the most the more you walk back as you can see uh, it's an immediate thing you look at when you pop the bonnet um, lots and lots of people ask me where I got this from and the answer is it's from a company called DM Motorsport but unfortunately they are out of business now and then as you can see I've got all these titanium bolts and washers which just finishes it off against the black so yeah for me that has to be the modification that was my favorite for my favorite pick for number one so modification favorite number two has to be my V-mount setup, which is the intercooler and the radiator setup and all this other stuff around it. Um, basically, this took an awful lot of measuring and fettling to get this to fit with the UK Auto Collective guys. But we did get there in the end. And basically, when we got it fitted, everything had to come back out. And then I began uh, doing all the detailing stuff. So re-sprayed all this intercooler here in a gloss black. This Greddy Trust decal was custom made by a guy called Stealth Decals. Uh, he makes the stencil, it then lays on the top and then you, re and then you can respray the graphic in whatever color you want. These hoses were an absolute pain in the ass to get hold of. These um, had to be custom made in the end to try and get the 45 degree angle in this leg length in black with white writing. Um, was very hard, so Ruse Motorsport kindly took the dimensions that I needed and then they custom made these. Um, this carbon fiber cooling panel come from Japan. It's a night sports cooling panel. It's called um, Again, this needed a bit of cutting about to get this to fit with this intercooler setup It's very very tight as you can see, but it does fit quite nicely um, I then finished the cooling panel off with these titanium Bolts and washers, which is pretty much the same as the alternator that I was talking about in modification one and then underneath is the Koyo aluminium radiator with all the uprated hoses which you can see is coming off the AST tank here into that so that is modification favorite number two modification favorite number three is my Nardi Torino setup inside of this car now this is a recent thing that I've just changed in here 
as you can see I've got this Nardi Torino steering wheel in the black with the grey stitching with the silver against all the gloss black I just think this looks so much smarter than what I had before I did like what I had but this to me just looks really really smart this handbrake sleeve is extremely rare to get hold of that actually come from Australia it was the only one I could find online for about six months of searching. This one come up brand new from a seller. So um, I was very, very lucky to get hold of this. Once I got hold of that, I then purchased this Nardi Orbit gear knob from Driftworks, along with these two leather gaiters with gray stitching to match the steering wheel. So that is modification favorite number three. Very, very nice to drive with. It just looks so smart, I think, against all the gloss black, which is something that I did. In a previous video, if you guys want to check that out, this was all carbon hydro dip before, and I ripped it all out basically, and all these door cards, resprayed it in their PZ Black, which is the colour code for the Mazda RX-7 FD. Modification favourite number four is going to be my wheels, tyres and suspension setup. I'm going to class that as one modification because to get that, like that final look, you need to sort of bring all those modifications into play. So... The wheel choice for me has been an absolute roller coaster over the years because I believe this is my fourth set of wheels now that I've put on the car to try and get that final look that I'm happy with. So I've had polished dishes on this car before and this is a common question people always message me saying do you not want to put polished dishes on the car to break the black up? And I kind of get what they're saying but I want to keep this car looking different to everyone else's. Um, not many people run black and gold and I'm definitely happy with the way it looks against all the aero side of stuff. The fitment was a bit of a nightmare uh, it always is trying to calculate all your offsets and stuff but i got there in the end but yeah you can see it sits absolutely perfect on that rear arch now this arch had to be rolled and flared 15 mil approximately uh, to get that fitment but i have no issues whatsoever when i'm driving it it just drives absolutely perfect the fronts however i've had the front arches rolled they are stock arches by the way what I do need to do on the front is lower this profile size tyre because it's 23540R18 on the front and basically it's just catching on the inner arch a little bit um, but nothing major, it's, it's still drivable but it's just another little niggly thing I want to get done. Now the tyres are nothing special, they're just Nankang AS1s and the reason is because I didn't want to put expensive tyres on the rims when I was getting all the sort of fitment correct on the car so um, I've just put those on for now just to get that fitment. When the time's right, I'll upgrade those to some um, decent like R888s or something like that. But to be fair, they do grip pretty damn well on the road. I've had no issues, no scares in the car or anything like that. So I'm quite happy just to leave those on there. Now the suspension is HSD Monopros, which I purchased from Driftworks. Very, very good suspension. Uh, it was pretty much night and day difference, to be honest, when I fitted it. Um, very, very happy with the quality very happy with the drive so highly recommend that suspension to anyone so modification favorite number five is going to be my rear diffuser setup now the stock one just has like a thin bit of plastic that runs across the top um, this one has a bit more aggression but subtle sort of look to it and then what I've done is I've got these stock OEM rear spats as what you whatever you call them to join onto that diffuser that has definitely improved the look of my car so that has to be on the favorites list I then re-sprayed the diffuser in a PZ black, which is the same color code as the car. And then we bonded these side OEM spats to that rear diffuser, and that just gives it the sort of ultimate street look from the rear. Very, very happy with how that looks. And um, yeah, definitely not looking to change that either.